Hello YouTube, Daniel Carmi305 here, and today I am coming to you with a tutorial, tutorial, my bad, in the Minecraft Ether. This is a mod that gives you the inverse of the nether, which is kind of like a hell world, and it gives you the ether, which is a heaven world. And in the ether, there are three types of dungeons, bronze, silver, and gold, bronze being the easiest, gold being the hardest. This is the boss of a bronze dungeon, this big cube thing. And I am going to give you a tutorial today on how to beat him very, very, very easily. Now, the silver and gold, I might make a tutorial on those. Those require more skill rather than um, tactics. Like, for example, you need to just avoid being hit and try to hit them. And there's not really a set way you have to do it. It's different for each person. As opposed to the bronze dungeon, which it's very easy to do for anybody. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and the tactic we're going to use to do it very easily, I'm using a grav uh, gravite pickaxe, you don't need that, you can use xanite, you can even use skyroot, you can even use holy stone. Use whatever you have, I'm just using this for, um, for the tutorial purpose, you also do not need armor, because with this tactic, if you do it correctly, you won't get hit by him at all. As you can see, everything is bedrock, you can't break it, and to beat him, you need to make this here contraption. I will show you how to make it. All you need is one cold air cloud and two blue air clouds. Put the blue one here, one of the blue, and the white one or the cold one here. And then you jump up with the blue one because it bounces you and put this at the top and it will stick you there but you won't suffocate and when you come down you land on the white one so this is an elevator you walk into the blue one get stuck and when you want to come back down you just fall onto the white one and how we're going to kill him is we're going to hit him and then we're gonna fly up bring him to the ceiling come back down and bring him straight to the ground to the floor not on the pedestal he has to be on the floor then since he's chasing us around the floor scraping along the bottom we can move basically to the to the opposite side of the pedestal, get him stuck, and hit him as much times as we want, and he can't hit us. So you have to start with the pickaxe. Let's go. You can see he's following us, but not for long. Bounce up, bring him to the ceiling, come back down, and bring him to the floor. Now that he's on the floor, it's a piece of cake. Bring him here and just try to get him stuck on the opposite side of the pedestal, which he is. Now he can't come to us because he's stuck on the pedestal. Now I can get closer and just do work. You don't need to worry about him hitting you because as you can see, he's partially stuck on the border. So you just hit him as much times as you want. This is what I mean. You don't need armor and you don't need any gravite pickaxes because he's not going to hit you and you're not going to have to worry. Um, um, however, a sky root or a holy stone pickaxe might wear out before you get a chance to kill him, so um, if you're going to do sky root or holy stone, maybe even xanite, I suggest bringing a few of them. Now, his eyes red, which normally, if he wasn't stuck like he is now, he would be on level 2, which means he would chase you much, much um, faster and it will be more difficult but he's still stuck no matter what because this like I said before is obsidian so not even he can break um my bad uh bedrock so not even he can break it so you just hit him until you kill him and claim your key see you killed him take he drops lots of stone and a key the pedal still opens open the trap doors and as you can see unless you killed him I'm right clicking, you probably can't hear it, but I'm right clicking and you can't open this. You need to right click with the key, which will take the key away. Then you right click and take your loot. In this case, I have a Book of Lore Volume 1, which is for the overworld, some sensory stone, some carved stone, and some flaming sword. And as you can see, now you can break the stone. And this is very, very minimal, minimal use to break. Most people 
um, very minimal to kill him. Most people will go crazy ki trying to kill him. But with this technique, you don't need to worry yourself. Just go back up. Click, which will break that. Go to the white, break these two. And as you can see, I lit up the place with torches. You don't have to do that. It'll just make it easier, but I decided to do that. Take your torches back if you want to now. And leave with your loot. So, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.